Bye. Here we go. In five, four, three, two. Welcome to Full Circle. I'm Suzanne McAllister. Today we are on location in Straw Town, Indiana. We are at the White River Campground, situated on a beautiful stretch of the White River. In fact, it's the perfect place to get away from it all and get into nature with your family and friends. Well, here to tell us how we can find beautiful places like this and travel in luxury and style is Dave Bain. Dave is the president and CEO of Tom Raper RVs. Thank you for being here today. Suzanne, we appreciate the invitation. Well, I know that you know that many of us baby boomers are wanting to head out and travel on our own time schedule and kind of in our own way. And more people are opting for motor homes. Tell me how this whole trend is impacting your business. Oh, we've had seen the trend greatly increasing over the past three to four years, even with the economic turndown. We've seen people who've decided to let the stress go, forget about the rest of the world, and really focus on their family, their friends, their spouse, or their grandkids, and get out on the road and enjoy what America has to offer. And there's so much to offer, and, and you mentioned a key thing. We want to leave the stress behind. Correct. So, and going to the airport anymore is a very stressful situation, but in, in a motor home, you are in control. There's a lot of stresses you get to bypass by having an RV. You get the travel, the TSA, the uh, bed bugs. <laughs> yeah, the ability to control your own food and your own costs, honestly, by fixing your own food and making sure that the accommodations are exactly what you want. It's all the pleasures of home on the road with you. Well, you mentioned cost, and certainly when people start to think about what kind of a motorized vehicle or a towable can I afford, mm -hmm. what do you offer and how do you guide people into that whole decision? Well, that's a good question. We, we offer everything from $6,000 fold-down campers all the way up to $400,000 motorhome. So we have really anything that can uh, supply a need for a customer. It really depends upon the person's preferences and what they're trying to do with the RV. Some people really like to be in nature. They like to really experience it. They're what we would call the traditional tent campers. Sure. But we can make it easier for them with everything on wheels instead of having to backpack it in. And it's much more convenient. And you mentioned the comforts of home. Certainly mm -hmm. that is what people want. They, Especially if they're a baby mover, maybe they're past the stage of, of pitching that tent. Absolutely. You were saying. And that's what this is for. If, let's say you've uh, spent your entire life working hard, you've kind of you've raised your kids, and now you want to rediscover that woman or man you married. And that does it. It's the perfect uh, vehicle for that. Yeah, and rediscovering that is, is, a, is a good thing to keep in mind as well. Well, you've mentioned this beautiful Tip and Allegra bus that's behind us. We're going to get a sneak peek uh, in our next segment. So if you've been dying to see what they look like inside and all the luxurious features, be sure that you stay with us. We're going to get inside. But before we do get inside, I want to ask you some key questions. Mm -hmm. Do you need any special license to, if you decide to go with something that's on the larger end, to, to any kind of license that's necessary? No, not at all. In fact, it, the size doesn't show how easy it is to drive. They're very easy. You don't need a CDL. You don't need any special license at all. We have, um, we have people coming in as old as 85 to 90 driving these. Wow, that's incredible. So what about the miles per gallon that this kind of a vehicle would get? We all know that gas is getting more expensive. Well, yes, and people look at the price of the pump and they automatically assume that it's going to cost so much more money to drive this vehicle. That's not true. The average RV or even someone who really goes a lot, really almost lives in it half, half or full time, they're going to put about 8,000 miles on their RV a year. Uh, this vehicle that you see here, the Allegro bus, it has a diesel 400 horsepower engine. It gets almost 10 miles to the gallon. So in that 8,000 miles, you're going to spend, you're going to burn 800 gallons of fuel. Okay. And so if the fuel goes up one dollar, you're going to spend an extra 800 dollars a year to have the RV. But then when you think about the convenience and also the lowered cost of being able to stay in your own motor home, many times people will look at it and say. This really makes perfect sense for us. Absolutely. Really, it's it's in a, a hotel today. It's about five nights in a hotel versus staying in your own home. There you go. Well, um, I was reading some information about how more and more baby boomers are opting for motor homes, and I think it was every one in 12 homes have some kind of a motorized uh, recreational vehicle. 8.4 million people in the USA have RVs today. So what do you attribute that to? Well, I think there's a lot of things. Uh, I think there's a new emphasis on family and free time. The United States have all, has always been like that, but I think there's a more, more of a renewed em emphasis in that today. The other thing is that people really enjoy the outdoors. Uh, baby boomers in particular are rediscovering what makes the outdoors great, going and traveling and seeing great things. 
uh, all the scenery that the United States has to offer, and we're really a unique country in that. Our road system, our ability to get on and really take off over hundreds of miles of highway when there's a gas station or anything you need. That's a real good point, because we are blessed in this country. We can really maneuver where we want to go. Um, have you seen also an increase in the number of parks and options for individuals that want to have a recreational vehicle? It depends on what part of the country you're in. There are areas in the country where the states have had to kind of turn down their state parks. But there are a lot of opportunities for RVers across the United States to really enjoy some really top grade parks. There are some out there that are called luxury RV parks that you pull up and you have a hot tub and a gazebo and everything right there for you. But Indiana's got some great state parks, as does the state of Ohio next door. All right. Well, you mentioned luxury, and that's a great way to go into this break. Be sure and stay with us. There are some luxurious things inside of this Allegra bus, and we're going to show it to you next. Nice work. Yeah, that was good. All right. Kurt happy? Where's Kurt? Kurt okay?